boats and pontoons. KX News, putting North Dakota first. Shirley Algerson is retired from the North Dakota National Guard. Yeah, sort of. She's a veteran of Desert Storm. She served with the military police, public affairs, medical service corps, and in logistics. Her resume is a long one. In 2002, she retired, but not so long ago, the Guard called her back for a mission unlike any other. In tonight's Veterans Voices, how Shirley Algerson is giving veterans voices. There's lots of history to be found. In About a year ago, Shirley Algerson became the National Guard historian. There's a piece of somebody's life and the story of the National Guard. Guard leader saw a need to preserve what's been buried deep in storage for years. And that became our North Dakota state flag. Both at the armory and frame barracks. It is an adventure to what's in this box and oh my gosh, it's somebody's story, it's somebody's part of history and it is exciting, but it is enormous, enormous task. Guard C-130. She's basically digging through the rubble. Hundreds and hundreds of boxes, items on shelves, weapons in vaults, books, pictures, letters, ignored for years. Algerson says some artifacts date back to 1883, which is the beginning of the Guard in North Dakota and before statehood. They landed on Utah Beach in D plus five. His battalion fired almost 90,000 rounds against uh, the Nazis during World War II. And this is his chair. And it's invaluable, just like there's no putting a price on the ZPU, an anti-aircraft gun, Russian made, but used by the Iraqis during Desert Storm. And behind that, a caisson. From the Army song, the caissons go rolling along. The caisson and wheels and limber, as it's called, could be connected together to haul cannons. So if these artifacts could talk. Algerson says the value is in the stories. I think the stories that, that would be told would boggle our minds. It's been a slow process. Every piece taken out of storage, researched, logged, and inventoried. You might even call it never-ending. Flood of 2009, official sand from over 5 million sandbags from the Red River Valley flood of 2009. <laughs> because remember, so North Dakota soldiers are still making history today. A rich timeline from the beginning, from before statehood, up until now with our current deployments, with our involvement with the community, uh, with documenting our response to, to COVID is a, is a big thing for the National Guard to help the citizens of the state. Everything from floods and fires to, to snowstorms to wars, uh, the National Guard is there. And she is there, documenting every move. Algerson says there's an amazing amount of pressure to make sure the stories of our military live on and that our veterans' voices are heard for years to come. Now here's the kicker. After those boxes are researched and inventoried, the sad fact is the items are put back in boxes and placed back on shelves. Now the National Guard is currently in talks and in the beginning phases of securing funding to build a museum for those items to one day be on display. And a true military museum is Shirley Algerson's ultimate dream. Stay with us still to come on KX News. We'll tell you what